Okay. Oh, so your underlying energy is this tower here. So the tower indicates some rapid change. So change that you did not see coming. You know, Uranus is coming um, in the middle of May. So this could be this energy here, right? The kind of early effects for some of you guys. But I feel like this is something unexpected happening. Maybe even a finding that a piece of your foundation isn't as stable as you thought it was. And it comes crumbling down. Um, underneath that, you have the King of Cups. So per this is your card here, guys. So maybe this is something unexpectedly happening in regards to your romantic life. Your, yourself possibly this is some um unexpected change in yourself unexpected change um in regards to the way you feel about love and in regards to what you know what your boundaries are in regards to love okay so there this is this does have a lot to do with you with you and how you feel so this is a sudden change in how you feel okay um and possibly a sudden change that caused you to feel very differently about a certain situation okay um now, in your current state of being, you guys have the Ten of Cups. So you guys are completing a cycle. This could, this could also be happily ever after for some of you guys that have, you know, have had a good uh, cycle. This is really seeing the results of what has come about that cycle. Uh, for some of you guys, this could just be an emotional ending, uh, an ending in regards to a really, you know, a draining and emotional cycle. So this is ending up here rather good. So this is, this is excellent here that I like to see. Now, for your goal, you guys have the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords does talk about moving. So for some of you guys, this could be moving. Uh, you could be seeing someone from a distance. You guys could be um, talking to someone that's um, long distance. For some of you guys that have long distance relationships, I can really get picking this up strongly. Uh, for a lot of you guys, you may want to actually, you know, transition, perhaps move from one phase of your life to the next, meaning um, pretty much like the death card, releasing something or moving or leaving behind something. Uh, that no longer serves you to be able to be in a place in yourself to manifest or to prosper. Um, so that could be that as well. But I'm really getting a sense of traveling here. I feel like you guys do want to travel. You guys do want to, you know, go somewhere. But um, the thing that's keeping you from, you know, transitioning or traveling or going a very a great distance is the Knight of Wands. This could be a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Um, but there is also a lack of passion that I'm getting as well. Maybe there isn't a lot of excitement, a lot of enthusiasm. There could be someone that has a, um, an issue with commitment right now. Someone that doesn't really want to settle down. Uh, someone, and I'm not saying this person that this, I don't think this person is a player, but I do get the sense that this person is, you know, that is really good at initiating things, very passionate, very exciting, but they have a problem with follow through. They just kind of like get stuff started and seriousness comes in, they get bored. So I am, I do get the sense that there is either no passion in the relationship and you guys are feeling very bored in yourselves, in, in your relationships um in itself um or this could be that you're dealing with a fire sign that is not necessarily committed as much as you would like them to be or as much as they should be i think they have you know they're fun but they just don't have that quality of commitment there with you and the reason why the king sorry the knight of wants is coming up is because you have the queen of swords um but i think somebody was possibly very blunt with you or you were blunt with someone the queen of so queen of swords is usually a libra gemini aquarius and i wouldn't really typically see you guys as the queen of swords because you guys would come up as the king as you guys did underneath the king sorry underneath the tower and your underlying energy but if this could be that you guys are very stern and very serious about what it is that you want and i feel like also you guys are really good at communicating and being very direct so um for a lot of you guys this could have been that this person may be a lot more fun a lot of you know this could be a fling this could be someone that's not necessarily serious because it was stated so it was very well communicated in the past possibly by a gemini libra aquarius okay and this could be that um there was a need for conversation or communication here um but this person is still having issues let me go ahead and quickly clarify this because this one is an interesting pair and it doesn't necessarily tell me why you're not able to uh travel where you want to go the seven of wands so somebody yeah somebody is not having fun they're very defensive some of these actually probably a little bit more hostile um possibly a little bit aggressive as well um and why is the queen of swords the reason why the king of then sorry the knight of wands i don't know why i want to say king of wands so much you guys seeing a leo or something um uh, why is the queen of swords the reason why the knight of wands is blocking them from their goal because of judgment there was a change there was some karmic change here 
um, or a, uh, a transformation of one's perspective and way of communication, um, a call to action. Someone made something clear to someone in regards to their, you know, their, you know, what they, what their ideals are. I feel okay, and I feel like that changed the the, the dynamic of their relationship. So they're is a lot more like there isn't really a lot of serious stuff really there is a lot of defensiveness and there's a lot a lot a lot of lack of fun because you guys were completing a cycle here um and honestly it's draining i feel for some of you guys it can be seriously draining but uh, for a lot of you guys this could be that there was some there's a good ending here but there's something in regards to this commitment i feel like guys may have met somebody but they're just it's just that that weird phase of trying to get into a relationship for some of you guys i'm not necessarily sure but we're going to go ahead and hit back here in just a second um in your best path to follow you guys have the five of cups so the five of cups is indicating that you know in regards to your best path to follow is really talking about shifting your focus from what is not there to what you can work with currently and this is a very difficult energy to have especially when judgment comes up and the tower because it does i mean even if it wasn't there i mean the five of cups is very difficult energy just because you're moving from one phase of your life to the next and leaving behind what it was lost and this doesn't mean that you ever forget about what happened it doesn't mean you ever forget about um the, you know the thing that you missed the most but it does talk about there is a solution there is something there that you could still work with the two of cups is still present okay so um some of you guys is, is this is indicating is indicating shifting your focus from the problem to a solution and to the um to the to the connection that you guys still have here okay so i really think that um you guys may be really burdened or really tired and exhausted with the situation as well i feel like you guys have completed a cycle like i said so you guys are wrapping this up so you're ending a cycle here but it's still somewhat of a burden for you um so yeah there's a lot going on somebody i feel like this really is, this person is just is super defensive okay super defensive and it's just kind of getting a little bit exhausting but you have reached the end so i do feel like right now it's just kind of like carrying your weight and carrying what you you know carrying what you have home okay because you're just tying up the cycle it's that weird phase before something new begins and it's also like the result of all the hard work that you put in okay still got a still like it's still got a little bit of work to do but something new will come in soon now what you guys hope for is a bit of excitement you guys want some spark some something going something that drives your passion you guys are i mean you guys the agent ruler is mars so it makes sense that there isn't if there isn't a lot of passion here nothing's really going to really get anything going it's just going to be like ugh. so for a lot of you guys this could be that you guys complete a cycle you guys want to move on and kind of get over it you know get over with it whatever it is because it's not exciting anymore it's just not giving you something to work with it's not challenging you because the seven of wands to me is, is a challenge in itself okay because people are challenging this person with their wands so i only feel like your, your situation is completed you've done that already and you're ready to go ahead and take the next step you kind of go on to the next journey but it's just like you don't know you don't it's not not like you don't know but it's just there's no passion there's nothing exciting going on you're not having fun and i feel like right here with your hopes and fears you're not having fun right now so you really want that you really want some fun in your life you really hope to gain some sort of inspiration or spark of passion somewhere maybe even receive some news on something that can really get you going but the good news is here guys is that you guys have the chariot here as your outcome so i do see that things will definitely you know turn around but it's going to require a little bit of effort okay it's going to require um a bit of give and take um balancing in yourself balancing your head and your heart making sure that you're good and make sure that your responsibilities are taken care of you know doing the best that you can with what you have and utilizing your you know utilizing your, you know yourself right but also maintaining your life as well in the best way possible to get whatever you want okay now for, i'm going to pull you guys your wisdom of the oracle co-create i agree with this because this makes sense you guys want to make something new start something new you want you're ending a cycle that was not only a burden but emotionally taxing so um in a, in a lot of ways and i feel like it's just kind of ramping up something in regards to your emotional well-being and the sudden change is wanting to drastically get things going to get some movement in that's just, that this is just as much as the card from mars as it is 
for Uranus, in my opinion. This is, I mean, the original, you know, originally this is for Mars, but the unexpectability of being hit by lightning is more of a Uranus thing than a Mars thing, because you can, you cannot see anything coming from Uranus at all. Um, so I do really get the sense that, yeah, you guys want to really create and do something. So I feel like really, t you know, focusing, you're shifting your focus on what you don't have to what you can have is the best way to bring about some create, you know, bring out that passion and that drive to go ahead and create whatever it is that you want. Because the five of cups is indicating that switcheroo, right? That leaving behind, you know, not leaving behind, but shifting your focus to, to build okay so i really feel like building right now looking at what you have left your passions your hearts desires like whatever you have here that is inspir inspirational you do have it here it's just going to require you to um to shift your focus and it's going to be you know i'm not saying this is an easy thing it's not easy at all especially when it's something that you've lost as close to your heart something that you may not have anymore that's just kind of devastating to lose so go ahead and take your time of course Especially when, you know, you put so much time and effort into building this, this, you know, three of cups, right? To having something so precious. But when, but don't, but remember, you don't have to stay here. There are still something that you can work with. And th I feel like this two of cups is what's going to bring out that burning energy, that, that Mars energy that you guys have in yourselves to be able to execute what it is, what you're trying to aim for. Okay. Now I'm going to pull you guys your whispers of love. Okay, and your whispers of love is action, speak loudly. Wow. And this says, express your love through your actions. So yeah, I feel like right now, yeah, I feel like there's just not a lot of things going on. There's not a lot of passion. There's not a lot of action being taken place. Because the page, page of Wands, in my opinion, that's more, that's a very action-oriented card. And I know the Page of Pentacles is definitely more, probably more real, more physical things, because it is talking about being in the 3D, but there's no passion, there's no energy, there's nothing going on. Y'all bored. So, whoever you're dealing with right now in regards to your um to your love lives it's they're not bringing in the much, as much passion either so i feel like it's concentrating on the relationship concentrating on what you have that was that's what's going to bring the the uh the passion i feel like you guys have gone through something very difficult and it's not i mean honestly why do you have to build put the relationship you know put the energy and the passion back in well, if you i mean sometimes if someone else isn't going to do it for us we got to do it ourselves right so nobody's to blame nobody's nobody did this on purpose i feel like everybody's kind of going through their own thing especially when tower comes up rapid change unexpected things happening so there was something that may have happened where you know it kind of suddenly changed some things especially in regards to how you felt about your ideal partner here or what, what you feel about love how you feel emotionally i feel like there's a definite change in how you are in relationships because this uranus transit is happening in your seventh house scorpio so this is really talking about how you see your relationships and how you feel about romance and how you feel about romance rather and how you feel about working together with a person or intermediate relationships and i feel like well you kind of you're going through you know you've completed a cycle but there's no passion here with this person so i feel like that's what's needed right now so this is really not a bad reading it's just requiring you to just kind of look at the relationship and focus on the relationship to build the connection or build the passion in the relationship again and i feel like with the chariot there you guys will be soon sailing okay and also communicate what it is that you want again i feel like you always already did with this queen of swords here possibly or someone else communicated with you and that kind of communication that hard that, like a serious conversation is what transformed the relationship but it's time to put the fun back in right you guys are bored and this fun needs to come back in so i do see that you guys may you know to have a little more fun and enjoy your connection with your partner instead of always instead of con you know looking at what's going on because of that conversation that may have been a little serious you cut a lot of things out of your, you know, out of you know, circulation for you guys. Okay. 